Okay, so, <clears throat> my name is uh, Izzy Varta, and uh, I would like to say a few <coughs> words about, about my never-ending project, which uh, we start 1999, and since that time we didn't find the producer to realize, to, to, to make that project. Uh, originally, I am art designer. Uh, I studied the uh, Academy of Art, Architecture and Design, Prague. And uh, uh, I studied animation. And that's why I was working, I, I am still working in on a field of animation. And uh, since that time I made already maybe about 20 animated films, uh, including this project, which belongs to my uh, more complicated and uh, difficult uh, animated film. Uh, as you see, this is not a clear animation. This is combination between life action, uh, Claymation um, and different techniques together. Um, in the 19th, uh, we start to uh, uh, we were looking for a special technology uh, which, uh, with a special visual effects. We didn't use uh, computers in that time because um, computers in our studio. Uh, was uh, at a very uh, primitive, uh, on a very primitive level. So um, we used normal 35 millimeter film, and uh, that's why the result is uh, maybe it looks a little bit, a little bit like a handmade film, but uh, in fact uh, we add a lot of different effects, but not by computers, by our hands. So, uh, at the very beginning, uh, we start to think up that movie with my colleague Edgar Dutka. And uh, we were uh, attracted by Gustav Meyring's going because uh, Gustav Meyring is a great author who wrote a novel full of atmosphere, full of emotion, full of uh, special kind of mood. And uh, this novel is about more about characters who were living in a uh, Jewish ghetto in the 19th century. And the golem appeared sometimes uh, in that story in, in a strange places like a ghost. So I like that uh, concept because uh, the book is full of golem, but golem is maybe in two sentences there. So <clears throat> it was our aim to adapt that story first, but uh, after uh, after a few months, uh, we changed our meanings because uh, we found that this story is is absolutely great, but for live action, not for animation. Animation needs uh, more action, more dramatic situation, more. Uh, much more possibilities to to work with, uh, with some surprise and some some movements and so on. So that's why uh, we turn our uh, our aim, our focus into a, another story which is close to Golem, and which is the story about student who uh, was looking for a golem at the attic, in, in the attic of the old 
um, new old synagogue in Prague. And it was a dare man who wrote uh, the magic word Shem on a piece of paper and he climbed up to the synagogue and he discovered a golem's body there. It was a, it was a destroyed body. And <clears throat> he tried to put that piece of paper into his, its mouth and suddenly the clay man stand up and he grow up in a, in a big size and after a few minutes he fell down and he burned uh, the student's body under his big clay uh, his clay body so <clears throat> Uh, this is the simple story, uh, which may, may be uh, what uh, which we adapted in our version. Uh, but uh, of course, we didn't uh, want to follow exactly that uh, that uh, aim. But uh, we adapted into into a modern um, modern ways. So. Uh, we transformed, uh, we used that student, but this is not a student from 19th century, but this is a student uh, in nowadays. He, he is studying uh, mathematics, and so he tried to uh, find out that word and to, to, create, to create a clay man and to open uh, the world of of, of enigmatic and mystical world of symbols and, uh, and uh, many strange uh, imagine, images uh, which are which were placed in an old rock. Um, so, in uh, in words. Um, my English is not so good to explain everything, so I wrote it here in explanation. So you can, I can repeat it again. So this is not uh, uh, we adapted that rather briefly into a feature that is taking place in contemporary Prague, and the math student Adam Hoffman finds a large clay puppet in an old desert hotel. So he uh, used a hotel instead of synagogue, which he at first consist, considers to be the golem of Rabbi Lev. Together with his friend Jenny, he accidentally brings it back to the life. There we opened a Pandora's box of initiating a series of tragic comic events. So um, uh, yeah, uh, we used uh, a moment from the original legend when the uh, golem uh, was met. He he turns his will against uh, his creator, against Rabbi Lev and uh, he started to be angry. He destroyed everything around him. And uh, so we used that place like a metaphor for our adaptation. So, <clears throat> This story is uh, uh, mainly about the, about the clay Prague, which is uh, not a real Prague, but uh, this is a, uh, this is, uh, there are many visual images uh, transformed into the clay 
and uh, and Prague together. And uh, Adam Hoffman goes through that labyrinth of uh, these images and he find, found, is finding a lot of surprises and many questions and many answers. So there are some uh, drawings I made first when I was looking for uh, for the visual uh, uh, visual design. So it's my pencil drawings. This is another drawing. This is not drawing. It's a painting. It was, uh, it was according to my feeling. I, I was looking for a special atmosphere which would uh, be match to that uh, to that story, to our uh, interpretation. Uh, this is a part of storyboard I made to that original uh, adaptation. It was one of the first version, and so according to this version, I made a storyboard and also uh, the pilot film uh, you will see in a few minutes. Um, the storyboard is uh, uh, I don't know if I can use that storyboard again because uh, it's a storyboard for that original version, but our version is the fifth maybe, and this is a little bit different. Now there are some scenes of the uh, of that uh, strange. Uh, strange places in Prague, there are some offices and uh, uh, because uh, first of all we shoot everything on a 35 millimeter film li uh, like um, live action and then we project it, it uh, frame by frame on a clay relief, on a clay background and then we animate it again together. So. The result is something between life acting and uh, claymation. Because uh, clay, it's not only uh, the visual texture. Texture. This is also a um, uh, deep matter of, of that story and so that's why I decided to use that, mate that material uh, like a, mm, uh, uh, you know golem is everywhere so so this uh, I use that material uh, instead of golem but everything it looks like a golem but uh, in fact uh, he is like a genium, uh, genius lotse of the city. Uh, and uh, now I, I can show you that that short animation we made. 